Konnichiwa Minasan and welcome to the class in the second lecture series on introduction to Japanese language and culture. So in our last class we did Hoga which shows preference. Now this time we are going to do comparison and see how comparison is done in different ways in Japanese. Now as we always do there is a small kaiwa for you. Listen to the kaiwa and then I will do the explanation. Also this kaiwa that uh, or I should say this lesson that we are going to do today is also going to get continued to the next class because there is lots to do. So this is the first part of the um, kaiwa or you could say the lesson and the second part will come in your next class. So well listen to the kaiwa and then I will tell you the grammar. Rao san, senshu no nichiyobi ni doko e ikimashita ka? Indo no tomodachi to issho ni onsen ni ikimashita. Totte mo tanoshikatta desu. Doko no onsen desu ka? Tokyo kara densha de nijikan gorai kakarimashita. Ah, Rao san, onsen wa hajimete desu ka? Iye, mai ni nankai mo ikimashita. Demo konkai itta onsen no hou ga mai ni itta onsen yori tanoshikatta desu. 2日間そこにいて落ち着きましたよかったですねラオさんそうです So you just heard the kaiwa and I'm sure that by now most of it is understood as we have covered a lot of grammar earlier Now there are a few things So comparison in Japanese between A and B that is two objects or two people is expressed by adding something to the noun Now you have to keep this in mind that always noun is going to be there before whatever word we are going to use for comparison. The comparison is generally expressed by particles or adverbs and there are numerous ways of showing comparison. So now let us see how it is done. This kaiwa is between John and Rao san. So, senshu no nichiyobi ni doko e ikimashita ka? Doko a question word for where? Senshu is last week. No nichiyobi ni doko e ikimashita ka? Nichiyobi ni is for day. Ni is for day. So, Rao says, indo no tomodachi to issho ni together with. To issho ni with onsen ni ikimashita. So the moment you put ni over here, then it shows that you went with a certain purpose. And obviously, why do you go to an onsen? To relax and to enjoy. Totemo tanushikatta desu. So you will see totemo over here. Totemo, we have done it in one of our previous lessons and to put emphasis which is also very colloquial and only to be used when talking, you will use tottemo, a double sound, but not to be used with seniors, showing degree of the adjective. Tanoshikatta desu, I was very, very happy. Doko no onsen desu ka? Which place no onsen? So onsen are hot springs as you already know and the Japanese go there to relax, to enjoy, to interact, to socialize and uh, going to an onsen is considered a big holiday. So Tokyo kara densha de nijikan gurai kakarimasu. Now when you go to an onsen there are a lot of do's and don'ts. So you can look up the do's and don'ts of onsen on the net. What you are supposed to do when you go to an onsen, what uh, you are expected to do and what you should not do. The should not part is very, very important. So densha de by niji kan, kan is time taken period. Pan. Okay. Gurai ka karimashita. Gurai also we have done earlier a number of times and gurai is used for approximate 
amount, frequency or as in this case time. Niji kan gurai kakari mas kakari mas is it takes. So, for example, for kakari mas ikura kakari mas ka meaning how much is it going to cost. Dore gurai kakari mas ka. Dore gurai approximately how much kakari mas ka. I have done this earlier you can go over there see in the lesson I am just revising so that you can understand gurai and ikura the difference. Now John asks onsen wa hajimete desu ka? Is it the first time? Is it the first time you went there? Ie no mai ni earlier nankai mo number of times. So, nan kai, nan is a question word, kai when you add this counter for times something is repeated. So, nan kai mo when this comes together then it means number of times I have been there earlier many times. Iki mashita. Demo, but Konkai itta onsen no ho ga. Now you have done this. This is preference or comparison. Demo konkai itta onsen no ho ga. Mai ni itta onsen yori. So this is what we are going to do. Tanushkatta this. It was better than last time. It was more enjoyable. Futsuka kan soko ni ite ochitsukimashita. So futsuka kan. Futsuka is to days. Futsuka. Kan is time. Futsuka kan. Two day time period. Two day span. Futsuka kan soko ni. Soko over here refers to onsen. Ni ite. I was there and ochitsuki mashita. I was very very happy and energized to come back and work again. Yokatta desu ne. That was really really great. It was very good or it is very good. Yokatta desu ne. Good that you went over there and enjoyed yourself. So, now we are going to do various things that have come in the conversation. So, let us see what those are. Before that you have kanji we are going to do this kanji, this kanji, this kanji, this one, densha, tokyo, nijikan, hajimete and ikimasu. Now let us see. So senshu, you have done sen as in sensei meaning before. So senshu, put a doyobi, put a kuchi, cover it like this and then this one. So, this shows this part shows that it is passing through, it is going through, it is continuing. So, send shu. Shu is weak, this is weak and weak is from here till here. So, send shu is last week, earlier week. So, send shu. Then we have Tomodachi. This character means friend which is tomo and dachi make a doyobi, make tatsu, then do this over here and then again 2 and 3. So, tomo dachi continuation. Now, ishoni, you have done ishoni, this one, then joining these two, this is ito, which is thread, and then we have sha, which is person. So, we join these two, 
and make isho and ni together. This is ito as I just now told you, six stroke character, ito and this is sha a person. Join these and make isho. Then we have tanoshi. Tanoshi is if you break it, it's very simple. If you do not, it looks very difficult. So, tanoshi e. Tano and she and e. This is what keeps changing. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. It's a 13 stroke character. Then we have Tokyo. Of course, Tokyo you all know. So, I will make it over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. 8 stroke character. This means Higashi itself and the other reading is To and then Kyo. It is like this. Kyo which means capital to and kyo. So now what does Tokyo mean? If this means capital, then east of the capital is the new capital which is Tokyo. Kyoto was the old capital. Kyoto. So east of Kyoto is Tokyo. East of the capital city is Tokyo. Now you have Densha, you have done this. This itself is Ame. Then it is a 13 stroke character. Then and Sha you already know. This is Kuruma and Sha. Now you have Nijikan. So Ni, G you know, time and kan, niji kan, two hour time period or span. Niji is two o'clock. Hajimeru, you have done this kanji, this is onna, onna no hito, onna no Hito will be like this. Just this will be onna. And you make a mu over here, mu over here and kuchi which makes it haji meru. Once again and kuchi over here. And the last one is mai. Mai is 1, 2, 3. Make a tsuki which is month and this. Mai. As in go zen. Other reading is zen. In go zen. Lot of kanji is over here. I have put it specially because you know the words and now you can learn the kanji. It is simple. You may not be able to write all initially, but at least you will be able to recognize them. Now let us go back to our kaiba. So when comparing two or three objects or asking choice or you want to show that a certain object or a person is greater than or more than the other, then what do we use? We use particle yori. Now yori means more than or than and the pattern you can see very clearly is over here. Noun 1 va Noun 2 yori, adjective, this. Noun 1 is more than noun 2. Now, how will you use it? Just see, noun 1 wa, noun 2 yori, oki this, or chisai this, or kirei this, nagai this, benri this. This is a na adjective. All others are i adjectives. So, well, very quickly we will do the kanji also. So, oki you have done, this is the character, chisai, very simple, kirei is a difficult kanji and most of the time it is written in 
hiragana so you don't have to bother with the kanji at the moment nagai is 1 2 3 4 and 5 and then like this and like this so nagai so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 nagai now you have benri how do you write benri well hito then this over here and cut it like this and ri is like this benri convenient just to give you practice just a visual over here of the countries as you know the word now noun 1 va noun 2 yuri how will you show that it is big or it is small pattern is this you will see with yuri there are lot of examples this particle yuri just shows that it is more than or is better than or just more in english it is equivalent to that so kono empitsu that is noun 1 wa sono empitsu noun 2 yuri which is comparison nagai this this is longer than this one this one is longer than this one you can also make simple sentences initially do not try to make very long and complicated sentences just keep it very simple and you will be able to make difficult sentences as we go forward akai empitsu now this one akai empitsu wa kiroi empitsu yellow empitsu yori chisai des so this is chisai so whatever you want to compare comes first now all the kanjis that are there till now in this lesson especially the adjectives have been put over here with stroke order you can go over it now you just now did yori with nouns noun 1 1 noun 2 yori adjective now what does that mean so let us see taro kun wa so taro kun is the noun taro kun wa naruto kun yori futoi desu noun 1 wa noun 2 yori futoi desu so you can see more examples and try to understand yakisoba wa udon yori oishi desu yakisoba is tastier than udon udon is thick noodles and yakisoba is like this which is like our noodles or cooked noodles made dry so now there is a small kanji over here like this what does it mean it means futoi which is fat now this futoi over here is used for people and atsui is used for thick books or something which is thick like noodles then tanaka sensei wa morita sensei yori yasashi he is kind yasashi this so mori we had done three keys together is mori and field is called ta so when you join the two it becomes mori ta of course sensei you have done i am just writing it again over here for you that is all basu wa kurma yori benri desu we just now did benri in our previous slide we will write it again for you and cut it from here and then 1 2 3 4 5 and then ri ben ri and kurma is there so kurma is very very simple you just did with densha so you cut it like this this is the lower part it is showing a cross section lower part of the kurma the base of the kurma 
Watashi wa ice cream ga keki yori suki desu. So, this is all nouns. Noun 1 ice cream wa noun 2 yori. So, now you know the pattern well and you can practice with your partner. Now, ski over here you just now did onna no hito and then this is kodomo. If you put it together it becomes ski which is that mother likes the child most. Now, even when the order changes the meaning remains the same as you will see just now. So, to understand it simply we can say that you just show preference with emphasis and how do you do that? Well, let us see a yori b ga adjective this. So, the moment you put ga you are putting emphasis as you already know or can see what you are saying. You have some knowledge so it is a fact. So, naruto kun yori taro kun ga futoi this. Naruto kun is over here and taro is over here. So, naruto kun ga taro kun yori futoi this. It is a fact. Now, generally in exams what happens is you may get this statement and then the question could be what is the question for this statement. So, well what are you going to do over here? What should the question word be? Can someone tell me? That is correct. Dare ga futoi desu ka? Why? Because we are talking about people. So, it has to be dare. Dare ga futoi desu ka? So, naruto kun yori taro kun ga futoi desu. Or you can say kono hito ga futoi desu. You can actually point and say kono hito ga futoi desu. Then udon yori yakisoba ga oishi desu. Now what should be the question word? Well the question word is nani ga nani because we are talking about things. Now kurma yori bas ga benri desu. So, nani again, nani ga benri desu ka or dore ga benri desu ka, which one of the two benri desu ka, convenient desu ka. Then Morita sensei wa Tanaka sensei yori yasashi desu. So, yori compared to Tanaka sensei, Morita sensei is yasashi. Over here also you will have the question word dare or polite could be donata for dare. So, I am sure this is very clear how to use yori with nouns. Eva be yori adjective. Now, we can also use it with na adjectives eva be yori something ga na adjective this. For example, you can see over here naruto kun wa taro kun yori France go ga jozu desu. So, this is noun 1, noun 2 and the something is France go ga jozu desu. For example, oka san wa oto san yori ryori ga jozu desu or mariko san wa Mira san yori G ga jozu desu. G is letters ga jozu desu. A wa B yori something ga kirai desu or something ga heta desu, something ga suki desu. Now, watashi wa imoto yori niku ga kirai desu. So, I do not like niku, my imoto likes. Niku more than me. Watashi wa sensei yori kanji ga heta desu. Or watashi wa ice cream yori keiki ga suki desu. So, same pattern, practice with these patterns in mind and you will see that you will be able to do conversation. Watashi wa chokure to yori ice cream ga suki desu. I like you just now did the kanji suki this. Now, there is a kanji here heta. Jozu is like this, you have done jozu earlier, is not it? This is te, you are good at something that is above 
average over here you are a little below average you are unable to perform with your hands that is you are not skilled so thus you have this kanji of shita over here and kanji of uwe for jozu and heta i am sure you are also learning your kanji is also jozu is given here as well for you to see now in our last slide we learnt yori with nouns similarly we can do it with adjectives we can say noun wa adjective 1 yori adjective 2 des how is that done ima ringo wa yasui yori takai des instead of being yasui it's takai ima is now so ima like this and takai is a very interesting kanji in olden times houses were only of one story because it was not easy to make the upper story anyone who had a house which had two stories or three stories that was considered high so in the house this is the window and again on top this is the window or this is the door of the house on the second floor and this is the roof so that is why takai takai means high now gakusei wa majime yori fu majime desu majime is hard working and fu majime is not hard working so whenever you have a fu somewhere in japanese it has a negative meaning Gakusei, you can do this kanji also. Gakusei, gaku, and sei as in sensei. Gaku means learning, and sei is a student or a person who is learning would be a student. Gakusei wa majime yori, fu majime desu. Two adjectives used with a noun. Then, kodomo wa benkyo suru yori asobimasu. So, you would have heard people saying that a lot. Kodomo wa benkyo suru yori, more than studying, he is or she is always playing or they are playing, more than. Then, hito wa uchi ni iru yori. Now, you see that it is with a verb. And what happens with a verb? The verb will always be in plain form before yori for comparison so hito wa or mira wa mira wa uchi ni iru yori more than staying at home she stays outside and the kanji for outside is this this is also very interesting this part of the kanji means evening and this part depicts stick what would happen in china is that all these fortune tellers would come out of their houses in the evening put their sticks over there and sit down to tell fortune so it is evening and then soto evening and then stick which makes it soto outside the house now as i just told you you can use yori with verbs as well and the important part as you know already is that verb is going to be in plain form so how is that going to be what are the example sentences well naruto wa france go o hanasu yori nihongo ga kantan desu so naruto wa france go o hanasu yori more than talking in france go he prefers, he finds it easy to talk in Japanese. Kantan is easy. Nihongo you already know. There is a kanji over here which is Hanasu. Hanasu, I am also doing the kanjis because this is basically a revision of all the kanjis that we have covered so far. 
そううちで勉強するより図書館が便利ですするよりうちで勉強するよりミーニングミーニング basically more than studying at home ライブラリが便利です it is convenient 一人で行くよりみんなで行きましょう so again you have this 一人で行くより more than going alone let's all go together みんなで so now this で over here 一人で and みんなで this で shows number please remember when hitori de futari de sanin de yonin de is used or minna de is used the function of de is just to show the number of people hitori de tabetai yori minna to issho ni tabetai more than eating alone i want to eat with everybody tabe tai so you can see it can also be used with verb in tai form which is want to do as the verb is saying now you can see noun 1 wa noun 2 yori watashi wa anata yori or tanaka san wa mariko san yori then with verb it is always in dictionary form then noun wa a1 yori a2 this so this is what you are supposed to remember now there are different ways you can compare or show preference one way to compare and show preference or emphasis or suggestion is a no hoga ski des basically by using hoga we have learned this in our previous lessons noun 1 no hoga noun 2 yori whatever the adjective so now let us see from the examples and revise hoga with yori kuruma no hoga ano kuruma yori ii desu kono kuruma this kuruma no hoga ano kuruma yori ii desu it is better than this kuruma so they are actually pointing at the kurma and showing this kurma and that over there so now again what should be the question word dono kurma no hoga ii desu ka so kono kurma no hoga ano kurma yori ii desu showing your preference over something then bucho ga hanasu hou ga watashi ga hanasu yori ii desu dare ga hanashita hou ga ii desu ka dare ga hanashita hou ga ii desu ka donata ga hanashita hou ga ii desu ka polite for dare so the answer is bucho ga hanasu hou ga watashi ga hanasu yori ii desu it's better that bucho talks or gives a talk rather than me giving a talk so over here please see the question words what the question words should be these questions come a lot and you need to practice them then yasai or you could say kudamono wa yasui hou ga takai yori ii desu it's better if yasai which is vegetables and kudamono fruits are cheaper than they are takai it's good to buy yasui things now there are again a lot of kanjis i want to do this kanji with you hanasu which i did in my previous slide also so hana su so this kanji over here that means you to say and this kanji here means shita which is tongue 
So, when you join the two, you make, you speak with your tongue, hana su. Also, it can be used as a noun, hana shi is a tail or it could be just a talk. So, please remember this one, hana su. Now, there is another one, watashi, which is simple. I keep writing this all the time. Watashi means I. So, now as we have done hoga, you can practice from here with your partner at home. This you have done earlier. If you remember, we have done verb in ta form plus hoga, is not it? So, now, look at this very carefully. Kitanai kara soji shita hoga ii desu. It is better that you do soji, which is cleaning and it is emphasis with past form, is not it? That is what we did in one of our previous lessons last week. So, okyak san ga kuru kara soji shita hoga ii desu. It is better that you do it again emphasis as it is in past form. Now, okasan wa ryori o tsukuru ho ga suki desu. Now, there is no emphasis over here. It is just a statement, just that my mother likes making food, she likes cooking, that is all. That my mother likes cooking, tsukuru ho ga suki desu. She enjoys cooking. Now, See, watashi wa tsukuru yori taberu ho ga suki desu. So, tsukuru yori. More than making, I like eating. Again, a statement. Over here, kitanai kara soji shita ho ga ii desu. So, somebody else is telling him that it is better that you do it. Over here, watashi wa tsukuru yori taberu ho ga suki desu. Just a statement. I am telling someone that I enjoy eating more than cooking, unlike my mother who enjoys cooking a lot. Both are statements. Now, this word hoga you have been doing for a long time. The kanji for hoga is this one. Now, you have also done this kanji earlier as kata or gata. Remember? Sensei gata. So, this means person. But when ho is used like this, what does it mean? Ho means towards a certain place or in a certain direction. For example, you can understand from here, kita no ho ni itte kudasai. So, you are looking for somebody, doko ikimashita ka? So, kita no ho ni itte kudasai or kita no ho ni ikimashita or hidari no ho ni ikimashita towards left. Migi no ho ni magatte kudasai. Please turn towards your left or towards the left side. So, ho is towards in a certain direction. Now, if it is ho ho, what does that mean? First and foremost, let us do the kanji. This is kata and this over here is method. So, basically the meaning is method. This is direction. Kita no ho towards. Now, what does ho ho mean? Method, method of doing a certain thing, performing a certain activity. So, hoka no ho ho wa nai desu ka? So, somebody is telling you something and you are finding it a little difficult. So, isn't there an easy method or isn't there another method to do it? So, hoka no other. Ho ho wa nai desu ka? Ho ho is method or way manner wa arimasen ka nai desu ka? 
Is there another way to do this? Don't na ho ho otsukai mashita ka? What is the method you used? Maybe you made something. So, what is the method you used? What is the way in which you made this thing? Don't na ho ho otsukatte tsukurimashita ka? What is the method you used to make it? Now, there are some more examples. Kono ho ga benri this. This is a better way of doing it. So, somebody could be asking, Dono ho ga ii desu ka? Ii desu ka? Kono ho ga ii desu. Kore no ho ga yasui desu. Dore ga yasui desu ka? Kore no ho ga yasui desu. Because this is for things, so dore. This is kono so dono. Of course, you can say, Dore no ho ga yasui desu ka? Kono mono no ho ga yasui desu. You can also answer like that using kono. Then, kuruma de iku ho ga benri desu. A statement. But if you say, kuruma de itta ho ga benri desu. So, you are suggesting over here that it is better that you go by kuruma. Benri is convenient, easy, comfortable. So, now you can also do konna sonna ega o minai ho ga ii desu. So, you can use one konna ega o minai ho ga ii desu. This kind of kind of sonna, this type of or that type of ega o minai ho ga ii desu. So, over here in negative as well, suggesting to someone not to do a certain activity. So, this was ho and ho ho. Try to understand this. Use it a lot of times in conversation. Look it up on the net as well. Then, gurai goro and ni, you have done all are used for time. Now, what is the difference? So, let us see. This girl, this person is on the phone. So, now let us see. Watashi wa ichiji goro haha to denwa de hanashimashita. Haha to with denwa de hanashimashita. Ichiji goro meaning approximately or around ichiji goro around this time plus minus 10 minutes or 5 to 7 minutes and they is by. Then watashi wa ichiji ni haha to denwa de hanashimashita. So, ni over here is again with time but exact time ichiji ni. So, over here and here exactly at 1 o'clock. Then, watashi wa ichiji kan gurai. Ichiji kan, you can omit the gurai also over here. Ichiji kan, haha to denwa de hanashimashita. I talked to her for 1 hour. Time period, time span, 1 hour. If you add gurai over here, then approximately for 1 hour, it could be 5 minutes more, 5 minutes less. There is another example for you. Someone is sleeping. So, watashi wa ichiji goro nemashita. I slept at 1 o'clock approximately. Then, watashi wa ichiji ni nemashita exactly at 1 o'clock. 1 or 2 minutes here and there. Then, watashi wa ichiji kan gurai nemashita. This is for this time span, for these many hours, for this much time I slept. So, now you can see the difference between goro gurai and ni. Gurai is also used for frequency as I told you and amount. And over here with kan for span of time. Now, there are some similar looking kanjis which I had promised to you in the beginning that I will do. 
so that your confusion is removed. So, I have this kanji over here all look very similar. Now, this is futoi. And this is, someone tell me inu. Please, you are not supposed to cut it over here, okay. So, it is like this, like this over here, inu. Once again, inu. Futoi meaning fat, oki and inu. Then we have onna no hito, which you know three stroke character. This is yasui, meaning chi. Yasui. Now, this character I just told you with kodomo is suki, which means like. Mother likes the child most. All similar looking kanjis. This is, of course, me, inverted I as you know. So, 90 degrees and it turns into me, then you have michi. Now, over here, we will take the simplest one first. This is sen, which is thousand. This is like this ushi which is cow, then 1, 2, 3 and this is the difference. This is go, go, no go, which is noon and now we have this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then 6, which is men, year. So, there are lot of kanjis for you today. Most of it is revision. You have covered these kanjis, but still keep looking at them again and again and your visual becomes very strong. Now, in our last lesson, we did this expression shitsureshimas. I have a small question for you. Now, let us see what it is. So, see this is a small conversation or you could say there was a meeting and Mira and Hana were there and Mira is telling Hana, ja kore de shitsureshimas or she is telling everybody kore de Shitsure shimasu. Now the meeting is over and she is leaving. So, Hana, what should be her answer? What should she say? Jane mata, informal. But now Hana says, Minna ni yoroshiku? And then there are four options. So, which is the correct answer? Obviously, this is the correct answer. But why is this correct? See, Minna ni yoroshiku? My best or regards to minna. So, moratte kudasai means morau means receive. So, I cannot say best regards receive. Kotaite kudasai means answer. So, minna ni yoroshku kotaite kudasai please answer. This is also wrong. So, then agete kudasai means please give. Ageru is this is the kanji for ageru. Ue so you give somebody. So, minna ni regards agete kudasai. You cannot just say give them my regards, which of course works in English, but it does not work over here. So, this is also incorrect. Now, minna ni yoroshko staite kudasai. Please convey. So, this is the correct answer. Tsta eru, tsuta eru group 2. This is the correct answer. We will do these on and off in your lessons from now onwards because these are the kind of questions that come in JLPT. You will get enough practice over here. So, well, with this, I would like to end today's class. It has been a longish class, but we have done comparisons. We are going to compare other things as well in our next class and do more comparisons. Till then, do this very nicely. Try to use it in your conversation, practice with your partner and come prepared for the next class and then we will do more. Till then, arigato gozaimasu, mata aimashou.